Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever Yurt Tag Team Tournament to decide the inaugural Twitch Tag Team Champions. Joining me today on commentary, we have one of the Royal Rumble winners, and he'll be main eventing Yurt Mania. It's Andre Wink. Andre Wink, how are you this, this uh, lovely evening? Well, Stone, I'm doing just fantastic. You know, the adrenaline has worn off, and it's really just dawning on me that I will be going to WrestleMania. But, um... You know, we got a lot of great competitors out here today, and I'm hoping to see hoping to see some stiff competition uh, when the day arrives. Absolutely. And we're seeing our first tag team here. It's Hater, Tommy Hater Hagerty and Glenn Robb, the Haters. Now, this team formed during the Rumble, and Andre, I got to ask you a question. You know, we, said, we saw Tommy, you know, dominate, not dominate, but did a very good performance in the uh, World Rumble matches. And now this is a new environment for him. He's a tag team partner. Do you think that's going to enhance or even hinder his performance here tonight? You know, it's really hard to say, Stone. In that first uh, Royal Rumble we had, we noticed that Tommy is great at capitalizing, great at working with others and slipping in after they've weakened the strongest opponents. But at the same time, we know Tommy likes to do things his own way. He likes to follow his own rules. So it, it's really just going to... It's really a, a toss of the dice whether this, this, this tag team is going to work out. And here we are with our second tag team, Mayor, I don't even know her, it's Rado and Mayor McCheese. Now also, when Rado was picking his tag team uh, partners for this, you know, he, he was so confident in his partner, he didn't just say he wanted Mayor McCheese, he wanted THE Mayor. So you, that must mean he has a lot of confidence in his partner tonight. Oh, absolutely. You know, these two go way back. I remember in our college days, Laredo lived down the street from a McDonald's and without fail would go for a McChicken three, four, sometimes mm -hmm. five days a week. And the camaraderie they built up over that time, they've sat down and had many talks about the present and the future of McDonald's. And I think we're going to see that chemistry in the ring here tonight. Absolutely. It's, what a what a, what an opening match for his tournament. Right? What a way to start it off. And it's about to go underway now. It's getting underway. I, for one, am on the edge of my seat. Stone can't wait to see how this turns out. Now, Stone... Very much so. Who... Now, I know we're supposed to be impartial, but who is your money on in this match, Stone? Uh, you know, that's a tough tough thing to say. We see Rado with the early opening here, but a nice bulldog. You know, I, I think I might have to give it to Rado and Mayor McCheese just because they have, they have a history together, whereas, you know, Hater Hagerty and Gwen Rob, you know, they're, they're friends, but they we've never really seen them in a in a partnership aspect like this, if that makes sense. That's a good point. Just because you're friends outside of the ring doesn't mean you'll cooperate well within it. And we also know, on the flip side, though, Tommy and Rob, you know, they've got that that do anything to win quality that some would say underhanded i say resourcefulness that really is going to help you out in the wwe whereas we know laredo likes to play by the rules and right now it mm -hmm. looks like that momentum he had at the beginning is slowing down tommy choking him out just outside of the ring that's why we know tommy is a very a very brawler-esque move set you know not afraid to get down and dirty with his opponent here see so Rado back back into it now getting into the ring we'll see what happens Yes, Tommy definitely embodying that bar fight persona. We do know he smokes Newport, so despite being an intellectual, Tommy ain't nobody's bitch. But Laredo making Tommy his bitch right now, stomping him out, and so much showmanship from Laredo. I, we, you got to think, will that will that come back to bite him in the end? The the showboating. That's true. You know, we know Laredo very much likes to play the uh, main character role. As you see here, he's giving it off to his partner, Mary Cheese, and Mary Cheese. I mean, look how tall this man is. Just an absolute giant in the ring, and we'll have to see how Tommy uh, counters this uh, giant burger-like man. Tommy absolutely manhandling all of that beef. Mary Cheese taking a huge hit to the neck, and he's going to tag Robin. You know, so far, it's really anybody's game, Stone. Absolutely. It's very back and forth contest right now. Rob, with a mean swinging that breaker. Very, very nicely done. It looks like he's just gonna stop away at him. Oh nope, wait, he's gonna go and uh, oh, what's Give this? A little momentum. Ooh, huge elbow drop right to the gut. Big elbow drop. And look at him going through the crowd, loving the fans. And he's gonna get right back to his partner, Hater Hagerty. What? Very good chemistry right now. Very quick tags. Very much, uh, very good teamwork from them. I must say. And, and I gotta say that's a great strategy. Giving plenty of them time to rest. Really distributing the hurt equally so when push comes to shove and this becomes a slugfest they're gonna both have equal energy mayor mccheese taking a huge beating right now he's gonna need to get laredo back in the ring 
Peter Hagerty just dissecting the opponent and again and another tag. tags. That's right. And look at Rob, just not afraid, but look, oh, good counter on Mary Cheese. Mary Cheese starting to get some momentum back. And we'll see what he does here. We're going to need to see him start throwing that weight around. Mayor McCheese standing at 6'7". That's approximately 102 Big Macs stacked on top of each other. And, you know, his diet consists only of quarter pounders and Big Macs. So he's built solidly, and he's going to need to start using that strength, using that weight if he wants to come out of here with the win. But Rob, so agile, so slippery, countering that move. And, you know, we know Robert and his, his slippery and quickness. I mean, he... He almost won the first rumble, if you don't remember. He lasted there for, for quite a long time, just dodging his enemies. And we're seeing that here tonight in this match. That's right. Coming essentially a, a fingernail's length within victory. Looks like they were going for the count out here, but, you know, it seems like he wasn't quite thorough enough because Mary Cheese is back in. Got him in a huge grapple. Ooh, big suplex right there. An absolute signature move of Mayor McCheese. Yeah, we, we saw him use that... Back in the fast food Royal Rumble back in 98 when he uh, beat the Burger King for the World Championship. He's bringing Laredo in now. I think that's a great move, Stone, because he's been, he's been getting beaten on quite a bit in there. That's correct. Laredo can't really seem to get the upper hand. Rob, right on top of him. And look at this big choke slam. Two-hand choke slam from Glenn Rob. And another Showing the power tag. and bringing in his, his uh, partner. Wow. If you look at the damage on the board right now, though it may appear... It's overwhelmingly on the side of the hater team. It's actually quite an even distribution here. Laredo's going to have to watch that head if he's going to stay in this for much longer. But so far, I mean, they have a chance to bring it around. And Laredo getting greedy again. And and that's what we see, that showmanship. He, I, I understand he wants to put on a good show for the crowd, but he's going to need to be more effective if he's going to beat this team. That's right. But he's got Hater Hagerty up on top. And he's going to hit him against the ropes. That's a big move right there. And we know Tommy's got those glasses, so that metal frame pushing into his nose, I'm sure that's going to sting in the morning. Now, i got to ask you something, too, also, uh, Andre, is, we you know, Tommy, he has these ringed fingers. And, you know, as we all know, you know, ringed ringed, uh, ringed items not against the rules. You think it's going to enhance his punches possibly? Oh, absolutely. Deep ringed ring fingers, back. hard clogs on the shoes. I mean, Tommy's really taking every advantage that he can here, very in line with his character. We saw a huge eye poke from Robert earlier, and you know, it's only because of this loose rule set that these two are even still in the game, but hey, if it's not illegal, you can't knock him for it. Drew, he's, just, he's gonna find any way to win, but a mean two-handed suplex from Mayor McCheese, and just a needed a face, really just taking over on Hagerty right now. Yeah, just, just complete domination from Mayor McCheese right now. It's definitely gonna make Tommy a vegetarian. Can he counter that? He does. Good counter from Hater Hagerty. Right in like a book. Mm. I was going to say he didn't capitalize, but again, managing the counter. Tommy, despite, you know, his reputation as, you know, sort of a dirty fighter, he is extremely technical, and I think that's what people tend to forget. Nice running bulldog from Hater Hagerty. Just a textbook move on, for being honest here. And now he's starting to get the upper hand on Mary McCheese. He's bringing him back to his corner yet again. He's completely manhandling them. He's doing it again. Another running wow. bulldog. Just taunting his opponent. Wow. Back to back. Laredo begging for the tag. Pleading for it. But Mary McCheese just cannot get to him. Huge stomps. Back to back to back. I guess you could say they have some serious beef. Possibly. They're going for our first cover of the match. Laredo's not having it. He's in the ring. Nope. No way he's going to let that happen. Oh. Laredo looking to weaken him in a big spine Ooh. buster from Laredo. And, and Rob just, just staying there watching it happen. And see, this is what we were discussing at the beginning, Stone. That camaraderie is simply not there for Robert and Hater Hagerty. And while they may have more technical skills, you know, that, that lack of cooperation may just be their downfall. If Mayor McCheese and Laredo can get in step, big tag, he's back in. Ooh, mean chop from Mayor McCheese. Just, you can hear that thud all the way over here from the announcement. Oh, he's definitely going to be feeling that one, Stone. And look at this move, showing off the power that Mayor McCheese has. Uh, torturous, just pulling on that neck vein. Mayor McCheese finally using that that strength, very technical. Mayor McCheese, you know, often we've heard that he pulls apart the cows for the Big Macs himself, so he has a lot of knowledge of human anatomy and how to break a man down. But Robert, 
Mm -hmm. Feeling that pain in his joints, he's he's not gonna want that again. <gasps> Huge choke slam! What a choke slam! Gwenrock, and he's going for the pin right after. Smart move, but is this gonna be enough? Get the rope break. It Oh, no, Rado able to break it up just in time. That might have been it if Rado hadn't stepped in. But Robert just Herculean strength here is gonna toss Rado right over the side. <gasps> this is his chance. Big opportunity for Gwen Ra. What's he gonna do here? Targeting the leg. A good, good roll. Oh, but Ra, but Ra, Ra on top of it again. And he throws him over top rope. Wow, I gotta say, Stone, I'm extremely impressed with the counters I'm seeing from the hater team today. That's right, they almost are working like a well oiled machine that they've been doing this for years, honestly. Like, very, very quick tags. You see, I'm just very knowing of what their opponents are gonna do next. It's, it's honestly very impressive. Just an absolutely, absolutely calculated, ruthless style. Mayor McCheese now leaking ketchup all over the arena. And again, going for the timeout, just gonna chill in the ring, let him nurse those wounds outside the ring. But can he get the 10 count? Oh, he doesn't want the 10 count. He wants the pinfall victory going right back at Mayor McCheese here. And Amelia's starting to punch away on the outside of the ring. Oh, but a good counter from Mayor McCheese. You know, if I were Laredo, I might actually step in here, Stone, because Mayor McCheese, he's holding his own, but so far the momentum is just not there. It's true. I mean, if you look at your damage counter on the bottom of your screen, I mean, Rado is still still looking very good. I mean, he could definitely, you know, throw some moves their, their way. And, and honestly, I think he could afford it if, if he took a few hits along that, uh, that way. Maybe what he's planning, Stone, is to stay fresh so that if slash when he gets a shot of WrestleMania, he's as fresh as possible. But it's hard to say. The action coming back into the ring now, and Mayor McCheese has Rob in the corner. That's right, he's going to bring over to his side of the ring. We're going to see what he does here. Oh, we saw this earlier in the, in the match, just absolutely just showing off the strength. Just ringing at the neck of Glenn Rob. If it were me, Stone, I, I might even go for a dual, a dual move here. Use both of our strength, but he's going to go for the pin. Now does Tommy step in here? Tommy not making a move. Wow. I, I got to ask you, Stone, is that... Selfishness, cockiness, or belief in his teammate that kept him on the corner during that three count? I, I gotta believe it's a mixture of all three in a way. I mean I think I think Hager Hager, you know, he doesn't he doesn't want to lose per se. You know, you never do want to lose a match, but at a point you gotta have some kind of faith in your teammate to, to like build some confidence in them. But you see here another pin this time from Rado and Tommy going to step in and break it up. Wow, great awareness from Tommy. Laredo, just huge kicks straight to the neck area of Rob. He's running around him here, and ooh, this could be risky. Very risky. Going for the elbow drop, he's going to connect. It pays right off. To the heart Beautiful. Of Rob. Shades of Macho Man Randy Savage right there, as we saw. Now, Rado. Bring him once again to their side. And here we go. Uh -oh. Double team move. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, right to the gut. I know that knocked the win out of Barab. Quick recovery. Not going to let him follow up on that. Absolutely not. And a good headbutt from, from Rob. Not what I was expecting from him. But here we go again. Bringing him back to his side of the ring. Now we're going to see the haters do a move together. Try to wear down Mayor McCheese. Huge Irish whip. Ooh! And a couple big bulky shoulders straight to the chest. Mayor McCheese just barely managing to get to his feet, and this is going to be huge! Oh, and a kind of ice! Laredo Andy has to get in there. For it. He's going to break it up. Able to break it up, but. Oh, Laredo's not looking! Hey, going go for the pin! And that's wow. going to be it! Wow. Absolutely incredible. Wow. It was fast, it was intense, it was an all-out brutal slugfest, but in the end, the haters came out with the victory. You gotta believe that Rado is just punching himself right now for that miss, miss look that he, 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 he fumbled on. I mean, he just worked with the submission, goes to turn his back, and Tommy, with the awareness, immediately goes for the pinfall. Yeah, absolutely. There's no way he's not devastated right now. I mean, just that one moment of inattention after a huge dual move, 
cost him the match and his shot at WrestleMania. Well, next up, ladies and gentlemen, a rivalry has been brewing for a long, long time. It's going to be Dennis Whitley and Sprite Cranberry versus Matty Montez and Walter White. And here it comes, Dennis Whitley now. I got to say, Stone, this is probably the match that I was most looking forward to. Dennis Willie the fourth, Sprite Cranberry, a match made in heaven or perhaps hell, or perhaps just the southern part of America, but either way, mm -hmm. they're in step, they're in sync, and I'm not talking JT, and they're here to cause some damage. A team that's also another team that goes back a long, long time. Dennis, one of the biggest supporters of Sprite Cranberry when he first bursted onto the scene. And you gotta believe there's definitely gonna be some chemistry here between the Whitley Appreciation Society. Uh, beautiful society. You know, they actually, um, I actually ended up donating $1,500 to them last week. I don't remember ever giving them my credit card, so I'm gonna have to call their service line about that. But regardless, you know, these are these are two great competitors right here. I remember they had a bit of beef for a minute there when he was in his Winter Spice era. Whitley did not mm. vibe with that, but it looks like he's back to the original. Sprite Cranberry that we know and love, that LeBron knows and loves, and I'm hoping to see a great performance here today. Oh, we're all very excited to see this performance here. Both men showcase, or showcase, I should say, in the Royal Rumble matches, and now we're going to see them work as a team together. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see how they do. But also what's going to be very, very interesting is their opponents, because we've never seen these two work together before, from my knowledge. No, we have not, Stone. It's definitely an unknown level of chemistry here but i will say maddie montez a sigma among sigmas the ones who knock they are at your door they are in your walls and they are here to do some damage and maddie montez of course carrying that backpack what do you believe is in that backpack currently that he's he's currently carrying with him to the ring well could be firearms could be snacks could just be straight up cinder blocks to make his training more difficult but either way i know it can't be good for the opponent not at all, not at all. And Walter White, very confident right now, looking like he's almost cancer-free, maybe. I mean, he looks like he's in great shape coming into this match right now. Yeah, it looks like this is a season four, perhaps early season five, Walter White. So as we know, he's at the height of his influence, he's at the height of his arrogance, and he's at the height of his capacity mm. for violence. And these two have no qualms about hurting a man to get what they want. And what they want, Stone, is a shot at WrestleMania. That is correct. We're going to have the long-time rivals, Dennis Whitley and Manny Montez, starting to match off. And Dennis Whitley already getting the upper hand here. Ooh, huge neck breaker right there. And Stone, is it true that these two used to be roommates? It is true. In fact, during the uh, pandemic period of our lives, they were actually with, uh, within the same building with each other. And, uh, and as you can see, that uh, while they are four roommates, I mean, there's no love lost in these two. I mean, they're going right at it, just no no qualms about yeah, it. Yeah, not even so much as a smile or a handshake. Dennis just completely going out of tear right out of the gate. Huge elbow drop. Maddie surprisingly not rolling out of the way, not countering, and Dennis looks like he's looking for Sprite Cranberry there. Uh, and you could just see you could just see the camaraderie in that tag. Look at him going straight forward, but Maddie having none of it with a huge counter. Maddie, we know, has a uh, former man of the military. You know, he has that combat awareness with him. Do you think that's going to play a heavy role into his match here tonight? If he's part oh, of absolutely. Maddie is the height of awareness, of precision, of brutality. You know, the thing about Maddie is that he's not only strong, he's not only got a huge capacity for violence, but he's disciplined. He's disciplined. You can see it in every move he makes. Right there. Boom. Look at that massive strength. Gonna call in Walter White. Walter White, now we're gonna see him for the first time tonight in action. And no, and just immediately, just a meat kick to the back of. Oh, look at the springboard from Walter White. Looking pretty like he's in his early 20s there. No, just surprisingly agile. A lot of surprising agility from Walter White. You I, you would think that the lung cancer would probably affect his, his cardio, but I, I guess he hasn't lost a step. Who knows? He could be, he could be you know. Smoking that blue product before the match, we don't know what he could be doing in, the, in you know behind the scenes. But Sprite Cranberry, just the absolute strength, just throwing Walter White to the ground, throwing him around like a rag doll. Stone, you may be onto something. Maybe that's what's in Maddie's backpack. Ooh, another huge slam from Sprite Cranberry. 
Sprite Cranberry, a seasoned veteran in the ring. I mean, you mentioned it before about, you know, just, just the, the, the chemistry between Whitley and, and Sprite Cranberry, but I mean, he's had rivalries with, you know, Sierra Miss, I mean, Starry nowadays. I mean, he's no, he's not a stranger to, to combating as you, you see a pinfall here, only a one count. Yeah, Walter, we know a very prideful man. Definitely not going to let that two count happen if he's got the energy to kick out. And yeah, Stone, oh, huge powerbomb. We saw that in his match against the infamous Dr. Pepper back in the day. Mm. Look at Whitley. Just just showboating to the crowd. Oh. Doing what he does best. We know branding is a huge part of Dennis's story. Just wild flailing strikes, but they seem to have hit the mark. Walter clutching his head in agony, and Dennis is not going to let that slide. Huge punches straight to the nose. My goodness gracious. Now, something to note about Dennis Whitley is we know that he's a very, I guess you say fast individual, very much on top of everything, but as we know, his stamina, not the greatest that we've ever seen. He's a very much a go, go, go at first, but if this, if this match goes for a long period of time, I don't know if he can keep up with the action. That's a great point, Stone. He always comes out of the gate swinging, extremely high level of energy, but can he sustain it? He had 17 cans of Sprite Cranberry in the last hour, we're being told, backstage. And while, you know, they've got a ton of camaraderie there, that's about, that's a, who knows how many grams of sugar per can. But right now, it seems to be giving him just the energy he needs as he hit this, as he hits this terminally ill man straight in the solar plexus, knocks him down with a huge punch and goes for the cover. This is this going to be it? Whitley only getting a two count against Walter White. Walter White staying in it, but needs to make a tag. And he's going to do so. Here we go. The roommates, the friends, turned enemies. Dennis immediately getting the upper hand, grabbing Maddie by the back of his neck, but he's not going to have it. Huge elbows to the stomach. Get off of me. What's Maddie going to do? Huge clothesline. Maddie, another one with very high impact moves, punches, just wants to hurt his opponent every time he has a chance to. Ooh, and we see right there, Maddie, much like a. Much like a, a Mick Foley or perhaps a, a Sabu, you know, really willing to, to take it there in order to just dismantle the opponent. That's something you could expect from a man in the service. That's right. And look at this. Matty Montez bringing Whitley right where he wants him against the ropes in a big chop to his, to his chest and now going for the leg. Wow. Y you know, you got to wonder, these moves that that Maddie's using right now, are they perhaps moves that Lindsay has used on him? That's true, he, he may have learned them as we can see a cover here from Maddie. is this gonna be enough? No, only a one count. Not even the two, not even the two. Maddie seems exasperated, but you know, Sprite Cranberry not making a move, clearly he knew Whitley's not quite as hurt as Maddie might have thought. But that might change here. Oh. Ooh. Maddie Montez thinking something of a high, a high impact move, but Will be able to counter, and now he's getting the upper hand on, on Montez. As now he's going to drag him to his side of the ring and his face all on turnbuckle. You think he could shift the momentum here, Stone? It looks like he's able to as we see a fury of punches to Montez. And just look at the, look at the chemistry, the teamwork on display right now uh -oh. between Sprite Cranberry and Dennis Whitley. Maddie fighting for his life, but it's just so hard fighting off two attackers. Huge German suplex. Oh, no, he's picking him back up. Oh, into the clothesline. Wow. Is Walter White going to get in there? No, no he had confidence in his partner. Montez able to pick out a two. Uh-oh. Brian Cranberry setting up something. What could it be? For? The answer is... No, it's not clear. The answer is not clear. Maddie. Maddie with the big counter right there. This could be just what they need to bring the match back around. Walter White, his punch is going to connect first. Huge German suplex. Do it again. Jesse, boom! Look at oh, that. Oh, look at, look at the, oh, look at this. Walter White going to the top rope. What's he planning? He's daring his opponent to get up. Wow. Lung cancer, pneumonia, emphysema, mesothelioma, none of that can start, can stop the one who walks Walter White, but still, no three count. No, Walter White and this release it didn't end the match there, but here he goes with a huge end of days. And this is is this gonna be it? Spike Cambray looking like he's he's Dennis almost is worried. unconscious. No. 
Now, yeah, you're right, Stone. Looks like Sprite Cranberry, his vision's fading a little bit. And he's going to throw Whitley out the ring. He's going to go for it one more time. Walter White, just huge, flashy moves back to back to back. He's got to be cancer-free, Stone. It has to be. I mean, we've never seen him, like, move like this before. But look at Sprite Cranberry coming back into it, picking up Walter White, and he's going to throw him against the ropes. Man, that can't be good for Walter. I think it's a little early for the cover here, but we'll see what happens. Oh, two count. A lot of two counts and a lot of pinfall, I should say, in this matchup. These these two teams really want this victory here. Just the resilience we're seeing from both sides is, is something to admire. Big backbreaker, and he's going to go for the tag. And, and frankly, I think that's a good move. Good move. Recover some, some damage he may have taken and let Whitley do what he needs to do. But Walter White not afraid and just immediately hitting Whitley with DET. And, and Dennis is looking like he's hurt. And Dennis with about four inches of height on Walter White, but Walter not losing a step with these huge elbows, huge punches, and now he's going for the cover. Sprite Cranberry gonna step in the ring. Breaks it up. I gotta admit, I was a little cautious of how Walter White was gonna perform in this match, but he's putting on a great performance here tonight. Yeah, I, I, I'll admit, Stone, I, you know, I didn't expect too much from him, but he's absolutely been the MVP so far. I don't believe he switched out in the last in the last couple minutes and just dismantling Whitley right here. The arms, the legs. <gasps> oh, that's gonna bending the hand back and then knees to the back. And he's gonna tag in his partner now. And then it's just looking dazed and confused right now where he needs to go. Just absolutely. Oh, look at the look at the belly to belly. Just the strength of Maddie. Look at Maddie. Not even barely bending his knees. Just pure Herculean strength right there. Going to drag him to the middle and go for the cover. Sprite Cranberry is unconscious. Can he get the three count? No. Back and forth as competitors go. What a match we have here right now. And Whitley coming right back with the power and it's a big knee to the face of Maddie. Maddie oh, extremely strong, but we know once he loses that momentum, it can be tough for him to get it back. Huge signature from Whitley. Can he finish it off? He's going to drag his opponent or not. Okay, he's going to pin him right in front of Walter White. Almost a cockiness, and Walter White's not coming into the ring. Walter White, one of the smartest men in the world, or at least in New Mexico. He knows when his opponent, when his teammate is down, and he knows that Maddie can take more than that. But it looks like he might be in trouble. Walter White desperately reaching out for the pin. Dennis absolutely brutalizing that elbow, and he's going to switch Stripe Cranberry back in. Maddie's going to need to get up if he wants to get the momentum back. Now Sprite Cranberry taking his turn at what he wants to do to Matt. He's going to drag him to the middle of the ring, maybe going for a pin. No, he's just going to pick him up and looks like he's going to try to slam him again. <gasps> and he does just that. Here comes the pin for Sprite Cranberry. Is this going to be enough? No! No! I thought that was three. I, I really thought that was, was going to be it. Just barely manages to kick out. Matty is in trouble here, folks. Yeah, he needs to get a tag or something in soon because, I mean, he's getting thrown around right now. I've never seen Matty be, be be dismantled like this. Usually a very strong competitor, but right now he's just, he's just getting it taken to him. He's in his corner now, so maybe he could count on some assistance from his partner, but Sprite Cranberry just casually walking him to the center of the ring. Backbreaker. And boom, backbreaker. And now Sprite Cranberry tagging his partner back in, but this is an opportunity for Maddie. He's going to be able to tag in his partner. Good. Get some rest, Maddie. You've earned it. Walter White just coming out of the gate so strong. Huge high kick. He's gearing up for something. He's gearing up. This is it. Another end of days. And this could be it. Whitley, eyes glazed over. Sprite Cranberry isn't going to get here in time, and he is wow. just barely. Wow, just barely. You're right. Skin of his teeth. He managed to kick out of that. Dennis is out cold but it looks like so is Maddie. the next move might could be the last one but this could be it and we see walter white just taking it so with the this is what i was saying earlier i mean is the stamina of dennis starting to come into effect here is he's just not as as agile and as fresh as he was when the match first started yeah it's tough you know dennis he had three five guys burgers 17 cans of sprite cranberry and he did stay up till 6 30 a.m this morning so i'm surprised he can stand at all but huge enough energy to power palm walter Wright right out of the ring gonna take the opportunity 
get a little rest, switch Sprite Cranberry back in. I'm so excited I can barely talk right now. Yeah, this match is, is an absolute slobber knocker right now, and we're going to have these two men back at it again. And look at this. Sprite Cranberry going for a power bomb here. He's going to nail it. My God. Good counter from Walter White. That that is that that's that 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 technical mindset he has when it comes to being around. Absolutely. I, I'm not wow. And one just punch. one No wrestling technique, no submission, just one massive punch from Maddie. And I think if Dennis hadn't stepped in, that might have been it. Maddie and Dennis locking up now. Huge Irish rip into the corner, but he's gonna switch his attention back to Sprite Cranberry. Huge kick to the jaw. Is this gonna be it, Stone? I don't know, a mean, a, a mean kick to the back, and now to his arm. Maddie just now starting to get over hand on Sprite Cranberry, but Sprite Cranberry able to counter it and turn it into a, a, a whip maneuver. Just in the nick of time catching that leg. Stone, I gotta say, this is a match for the ages. I have no idea who's gonna win this one. Huge finisher from Sprite Cranberry, and there's the cover. Can Walter get in in time? Yes, he can. Another 2.5 count. Dennis looks like he was going to try to do something to Walter, but he figured he's got his teammate here. Let him take care of him. Okay, what's Sprite Cranberry doing here? Just going to drop him off like the Sunday paper. But he won't let him get off easy. Huge stout to the shoulder. Switching back to Maddie. Maddie, big counter, though. He's starting to gain some momentum, I think. Another big punch. You must call it. That must be Saitama because he is just laying guys out with one hit. Going to slam him into the turnbuckle. Sprite Cranberry is stunned in the corner, and Dennis tagging himself in, but Maddie, he's ready for it. Maddie had it had it played out. Look at this maneuver. Can he do that? I don't know, but with Sprite Cranberry's in the corner, he can't get to him. This is gonna no be it. No way. Wow. It is. What a match. Dennis Whitley had the confidence to tag himself in, but Maddie was prepared for it, hit him with a, a maneuver of some sorts, and got the three count. Wow. High-fiving like Walter did with Jesse in the show Breaking Bad. Just two men larger than life on top of the world. Walter White really standing out in the first minutes of that round, but Maddie did bring it around and managed to clutch the victory. I am completely speechless right now.